stopping, uh, uh, keeping the laws of health. Uh, uh, diet's not good. You're not getting enough rest. That can make you uh, more vulnerable. Like well, 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 someone well, likes well, 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 on you or whatever. Oh no, not again! You know, really, we don't exactly know what causes the flu. No, that's not true. We know, we definitely know what causes the flu. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Jesus bugs cause it. They're everywhere. But the problem is not talking about is the government. The government. Jesus, what about doing good and healing all that were oppressed the devil? He made the blind see, the deaf hear, the lame walk, the dumb speak. He raised the dead, he cleansed the leper. So he has to listen to you. What are you exactly trying to accomplish here in the life? He wants to get drunk so he can sue the school. Christianity. I find, sir, that your typical college student does not know the basic fundamental doctrines of Christianity, let alone whether they're true or not. So find out what Christianity teaches, then put it to the test of reason, put it to the test of self-evidence, put it to the test of your experiences in life, compare it to other religions, and so on, and draw a conclusion. Isn't that how you approach any other subject? I can go off of that saying that I went to Catholic school for 12 years, and we did a whole lot of putting it to the test logically, and I would say 90% of the time it kind of just fell flat on its face. So. Well, what, uh, what, may, what question did you have that the priests or nuns could not answer to your satisfaction? Um, let's go with Pascal's Wager, talking about, like, oh, why should I believe in God? And they say, oh, Pascal's Wager. 200 IQ right there, but it's like, okay. 900 IQ. You could say the same thing for literally any other religion. <coughs> Well, this is you know, this is believing in God. You got a point there. Not uh, specifically Christianity. You can see sure, but well, people, <laughs> brother Jed, it's okay to say you don't know. God. <laughs> if that's your primary reason, Pascal's pleasure for claiming to be a Christian, you're not. That's not true Christianity. We don't serve God just so we can go to heaven when we die. Brother Judge, do you know everything hell. about Christianity? We serve God because God to not go it's to hell, the right God. thing to do. How do you know that your God is the one true God? If God's loving, God right. doesn't hate everyone. You gotta sit back with us. That's a doozy. He's the one true God because he's the only God worth worshiping. <laughs> You know, what right. about the millions of people that worship Allah or the millions of people that worship Yahweh? But our yeah, they're all going to heaven. <laughs> everybody bar that God loved us so much he becomes a man. Willingly goes to the cross to atone for our sins and rises from the dead the third day. Say, say your gods and portions of your books, Frank Zoo. What are the amenities? Are you, have you started <laughs> running Greek water? Yeah, I have, yeah. You know, they're rapists, liars. Well, I'd be a just squirrel when I'm born again. Through. But they all are. Real. I'm not going to worship a rapist. <laughs> I'm not going to worship a, a liar. But your God allows for the atrocities of things like you know, the Holocaust? Star Wars! Whoa! Whoa. 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 Star Wars! Star Wars has Star Wars. Don't you dare talk and about Star Wars. That's the conception like. of the man of God. He's primarily a force. We don't worship God oh, because God of his is. power. They don't worship the force. We worship God because he Meaning, uses actually, the power of loving the, worship the, person. Yeah, it's the right. highest good of all beings in the universe. I worship <laughs> so the highest like, like, If you actually look at Jedi Any society, religion has an answer for the basic fundamental question. Like, I'm all for it. You're like, oh, actually. I'm actually. We have to worship the force. And like, if you look at the values, people Christianity offers the most logically the light side values. <laughs> like, look at the two posts. All of the Jedi values are like super great questions. How can homosexuals redeem themselves? No. Well, you can't. None of us can redeem ourselves. Whatever Approximately how long does it take to pray the gay away? Because we've all done wrong. <laughs> we've all done wrong. We've all lived selfishly. And a selfish person cannot redeem himself. The unselfish God. Who's never done one thing selfish? God is so unselfish, he becomes a man. He came to serve. Jesus said, Think not that I come to be served, but to serve 
and give my life as a ransom for many. Because he is unselfish. He can atone for our sin. We can't atone for our own sin. So, brother, because we've all sinned. On a scale of 1 to 10, how unselfish is it of God to say, you must bend the knee and worship me? Well, why does he want our worship? Because he's worthy and diverse. Uh, 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 he wants to give us guidance and direction. It's really for our benefit. Just like your parents. Anybody you know, here have a speaker? That word, uh, sir, excuse me. Shamrock, if you ask me a question, I'm going to answer it. You're not listening. The worship, the word literally means to account worth to. <laughs> So I am assume you have parents that care about you and so on. You account work to them in the nature of things. They help you when you were helpless. They get old, Alzheimer's, you have some obligation. Oh, come, come on, Alzheimer's. Just in the nature of things. They're worth to that because they're deserving of that because they're your parents. Plus, you need their money. You need their advice probably to get through school. And they're there to help you. Well, God is, we worship him. We count supreme worth to God. Oh, it's deserving of it. You see, I know this is how he wants us to show our love. Not by merely saying, oh God, I love you. Oh God, I love you. We show our love to God by serving others. That's why he said, the first commandment is love of God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. The second is like it on first, love your neighbor as yourself. So we primarily show our love to God by serving others. Jesus did. Love serves. But most people are too selfish to serve. They want to be served, but few people want to serve. Yes. I'll be standing up. Can't this guy stop to listen? It should not be that. Bob even says love your enemies. Yes. Whoa. Wait, are you saying that people that are not Christians are enemies? Oh, Jesus. Jesus be kind to those that are kind to you. Jesus be generous to those that are generous to you. Uh, but, Gandhi uh, was our enemy. Uh, not easy. <laughs> Gandhi, Gandhi That's the mark of the Christian. the enemy. God commended his love towards <laughs> us, and that while we were yet his enemies, Christ died for us. Can you stand up? So, yeah, that's the mark of the Christian. He loves the unlovable, he loves his enemies. <laughs> What's up? Oh. He oh, said, Christian, the Pharisees, the religious leaders, they love their friends, they make deal on them, they do that. Really? Oh my god, congrats. Some big stuff. Big day. They love people when they're mean towards you. It's easy to be generous to people when they're generous towards you. It's not too easy to be generous to those who are so weak towards you. We're just doing the money. So it's all about love. We just give it to God. God is so well the world that he gave. Love gives. That's the primary characteristic of love. He gives. He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish but have life. Another question? Yes.